Hi everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to transmit files to your Raspberry Pi Zero without removing the SD card. So let's go! Before we start we have to ensure two things. One is that you know the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and the second thing is that you have SSH connection enabled. If you don't know how it works, I will put you here a link to another video where I show you how to connect to your Raspberry Pi remotely. So let's start. So if we only want to transmit files to your Raspberry Pi, we only need to open the Windows command, but for showing you how it works and that everything is working, I have opened an SSH connection to the Raspberry Pi. So you enter SCP and then you see what kind of syntax it uses. So you have to put at first your source, at this case it's just a TXT data and then you have to put your username at your Raspberry Pi and your IP address. After this you have to put a double point and then the place where you want to save your file and then you get it asked for your SSH password and after this you get the sign that it's transmitted. Now we want to see if it's there and we see okay there's a test file. We can now have a look when it's created and we see that it's just right now created. I forgot to test it before but you see it there. Then we can see what's inside the test file and it's just transmission test. We can now manipulate the test file and add something to it and write it out with Control O and close it again and we check if it's saved. Yes, it is. And now we can try what's happening if we retransmit the same file again. And then we say it's complete deleted what we did before. So be always safe what you're transmitting that this file is not already existing at your Raspberry Pi because in that case it will be lost. So then there is another option what you can use if you have some problems with your connection. You just can add the option minus V and then you get all the information out what you maybe need if you need to debug something or if there's a problem and you cannot figure out what it is then you will probably try to search for a failure value and this is where you can get it. So that's mostly everything you need to know how to transmit files. It's really easy and really quick so hopefully you will never need again to remove your SD card from your Raspberry Pi. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Goodbye.